Fuck it is life. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as here. soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Okay. Stanley okay. picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Uh, no one cares about the employee lounge. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. <laughs> oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place. What the fuck? Um. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. Yeah. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere ah. new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Ah, oh, no broom closet content. I know, it's on my list. We look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, too. and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> it's, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. I'm not giving up the bucket. And Sharpe from High School Musical. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. No, no, no. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. No, True, no, no, it no, also no. was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. I feel I have to. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the Bucket. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your Bucket. Destroying Buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to hey, really Bri. explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? How's the your day going? How's the cloud? Not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... Rip. I feel the bucket destroyer 
my prized creation. That went you had bad. so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. All of his co-workers were gone. Hugs are great what could though, Chels. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply the good old bucket. Just okay, let's see what happens when I actually bucket. feed the bucket. Off machine. on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge Hugs was simply for the everyone. place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took ha. the door on his left to go back to and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Blip, 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 blip. Oh good Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you This is a mandatory hug area. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley oh, Parable. Sense. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Let's go. Everyone Whee! enjoys us. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the hey, Stanley Sigh. Parable is all about. How you about. doing, buddy? Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs, drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the Glad bucket. to hear it, buddy. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. It breeds buckets. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. Huh. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is a singular guess we personality can't destroy trait. The Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Come on. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry I'm and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable <laughs> character. Just like the adventure you line or the bucket destroyer you until you bucket. crush that damn you bucket. Quickly bucket. now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans stand. No, Give just, the fans you what they flip, want. Hurry and it just uh, make you pull it closer. Well, I can bucket.
the bucket destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. Did you not try that, Ela? We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, <laughs> you were. Yeah, you click it, and he just pulls it a bit closer. You click it again, and he puts it back into his arm. And it's like doesn't give you the actual option to destroy it. Little hope's always good, mate. I want to see Ephron play it. Along with all the other games. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. And Perhaps he had simply end. missed a that memo. That wasn't there before. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> I'm in an advanced story. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Stanley clutched the bucket uh, tightly to his chest this way. and entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? What's grey well, no, comes in buckets, mind, elephants? The bucket was wrong. Jesus Christ. Stanley took the door on his left to go uh, back to the meeting room. Nope. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly Yeet. convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Danger everywhere. Let's go. To be free. No, stop. Look there on the wall, you see? There's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Oh, Unless, oops. what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I know a bucket I suppose is. that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. You know I said figure four you can't have the bucket filled. Is it because this is that's the way to get to the blue and red room, right? Now blue then, and red I'm doors. going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply yeah, I was curious right. about it. This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item 1. Is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual oh, bucket. Oh, fuck off. Item 2. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. All my friends have such expansive bucket lists. Mine is just Item a little three. pale in comparison. Is this a bucket? Uh... Correct. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I, I know what a bucket is. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? 
absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. Oh, this fuck off. Item six. Is this a bucket? Trekker bucket. They're all the same. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Fuck's sake. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly everything know that is a bucket, bucket is something. And nothing therefore nothing could possibly be something. Life. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Yes. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yes. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Here we go. Bucket is life. What Shakespeare happened? Buckets. Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Yes. Every single I've thing I've been trying to tell you this. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could, except me, I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you yes. run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Okay, let's go to the blue-red doors. Get that collectible. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlarines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? Stanlarines. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Now listen carefully, this is important. 
Stanley walked through the red door. Nope. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the... All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? But well, blue's don't the best let color. me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not Absolutely. think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going oh. to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Ah yes, the leaderboard. Good old Neil, Skid, Nico Nacho, Fola, Hogarth, Mr. Hayes. I guess we go back. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard Wait, I helped came through you a different feel door. motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Sure. Let me boot it up. What could go In wrong? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Yeah, let's just burn the baby. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or pure I am not doing me? the four hour run. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know Fuck what to do. That. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Aha, fascinating. Firewall. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Mm. Fairly sure it's fire. But it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must oh, be. Oh, Firewatch what is such a fascinating a good game. adventure into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley, and it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Absolutely beautiful. Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. 
What can't it be? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open... Just wandering around, it, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, it's got a great big, story to it insurmountable as well. walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Fucking rock Wonderful. League. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Hole? Okay, so what exactly do we oh, do not here? Hole. Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes. I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley. Here's no, the ball. it's sports ball. <gasps> ball. Wait, what color am I? <laughs> Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, yeah, I have a and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an Is even more give me euphoric balls? sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Oh, let Here me score the ball. fucking goal! Yes! Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls! Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time. Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> Donk. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Bye, narrator. Everyone needs more balls. That's how life works. Um I feel a little bit lost. Left. Hello? Is anyone out there? Um... Hello? Light. Narrator, come back. It's too quiet without you. Uh... 
um, I guess not. Ah! I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. <laughs>